example to examine the following function for any stationary points and determine their nature fx equals to x power of 4 over 4 minus 9 over 2 x square first we find the derivative of the function f prime x equals to 4 x cube over 4 minus 2 times 9 over 2 x uh, simplify the uh, the values so you will get x cubed minus 9x uh, then equate the f prime with 0 so that we can find the stationary point x cubed minus 9x equals to 0 uh, we can factorize x x square minus 9 x square minus 9 we factorize Okay, x plus 3, x minus 3. So you have three values. x equals to 0, x equals to negative 3, and x equals to 3. So all of these three values, okay, we substitute into the, into the function. So when x equals to 0, your y is equals to 0. When x equals to negative 3, your y will be equals to negative 81 over 4. And the last one, your y is negative 81 over 4. So, stationary points are 0, 0, negative 3, negative 81 over 4, and 3, negative 81 over 4. And now, we have to test all these three points to determine their nature uh, find your second order derivative f double prime equals to 3x square minus 9 uh, at first point at 0 0 your f double prime 0 is equals to negative 9 uh, the value is negative maximum at negative 3 negative 81 over 4 the value is 18 greater than 0 that means it is a minimum and the last point at 3 negative 81 over 4 f double prime is equals to 18 uh, so for the conclusion therefore 0 0 is a maximum point uh, negative 3, negative 81 over 4, and 3, negative 81 over 4 are minimum points. Example 3, given y equals to 3 minus 4x cubed, find if exists the maximum and minimum point using second order derivative test. Differentiate your, your curve dy dx equals to negative 12 x square. Proceed to find the stationary point dy dx equals to 0. Uh, so we'll get x equals to 0. Find the value of y. So y equals to 3 minus 4 times 0 cubed uh, y is 3. 0, 3 is a stationary point. Find the second order derivative to test the point. d square y over dx square okay, equals to negative 24x. At 0, 3, the value of Second order derivative is 0. Uh, so, if the value is 0, that means the test is fail. Uh, so, we have to proceed with first order derivative test. To use the first order derivative test, we have to form the table that include interval for the first column, sign of uh, dy dx and the gradient 
use the interval less than 0 equals to 0 and greater than 0. Substitute, okay, the suitable value, okay, into the f prime or dy dx. So, for x less than 0, the value is negative. Uh, for x equals to 0, the value is 0. For x greater than 0, the sign of dy dx is negative. So, the gradient is decreasing. Okay, for interval x less than 0 and x greater than 0. Uh, so, the conclusion is the function has no extremum. Example 4, P is a point on the curve whose equation is 3y equals to x cubed minus 6x squared plus 9x plus 1. For A, given the coordinate of P is 2, 1, show that it is not a stationary point. And then for B, find the equation of the tangent at P. Uh, now we use the curve. Okay, to find the derivative, 3y equals to x cubed minus 6x squared plus 9x plus 1. Uh, for this curve, we have to use the implicit differentiation, okay, to get the value of dy dx. Differentiate each term, so 3 dy dx equals to 3x squared minus 12x plus 9. Divide all the term with 3 x square minus 4x plus 3. Okay, so to find the stationary point, okay, we have to make sure that this derivative is equal to 0. Uh, but now the point is already given, p to 1. Uh, so let's find the value of dy dx at this point. Uh, so dy dx equals to 2 square minus 4 times 2 plus 3. Uh, so find the value, we will get the value of dy dx is negative 1. Uh, dy dx is not equal to 0. Therefore, p to 1 is not a stationary point. Uh, stationary point, the value of dy dx must be 0. Uh, for b, Find the equation of the tangent at P. Uh, so, point P is already given to 1. Uh, now, to find the equation, you have to find the gradient, your M tangent. You can find the M tangent, okay, from your dy dx. Uh, so, we already find actually the value of M, t M tangent in part A. Uh, so, the value is negative 1. Find the equation of tangent by using the formula of equation y minus y1 m times x minus x1. Uh, y minus 1 equals to negative 1 times x minus 2. Uh, so, your equation of tangent at point P is y equals to negative x plus 2 plus 1. So, y equals to negative x plus 3.